Hey everyone, KBKing77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to unroot your HTC Desire back to stock. Um, whether you, whatever version you have, uh, currently I have the US cellular version, as you can see it says US cellular right there. Uh, but this method is going to work, well, the specific method is the same for all phones, but you'll just need to use a different file. But the method's the same. So this will work for all HTC Desire phones. Just go ahead and click on the link in the description uh, to get the Android Creative Syndicate forum. And as you can see, HTC Desire, return to stock, RUU. Uh, for US Cellular, uh, just click on this link if you have a US Cellular HTC Desire. Click on this, it'll download the proper RUU. If you're looking, if you're using a different Desire on a different uh, carrier, uh, click on that link, it'll take you to the XDA developer's website, and there you go. Here's all your RUUs for your, uh, for your phones, whether you're using um, Virgin Mobile, um, Verizon or T-Mobile, whatever your desire is on, just choose your proper one. As you can see, it's save a Verizon, or it'll say T-Mo, Vodafone, um, all those good ones. But anyways, uh, once you have it downloaded, have it on your computer, and just double click on it once you have it downloaded. Actually, I'm going to have you right click on it and hit run as administrator. RUU, Bravo, C, Froyo. Um, just click on it, run as administrator, allow it uh, access. Once it pops up, and just hit yes. And as you can see, RUU setup is preparing. And as you can see, welcome to ROM update utility for your phone. Um, basically, this is gonna say it's gonna delete all your files, so make sure you back up everything that you need, contacts, texts, everything, apps, all of that stuff is going to get wiped. And then just check this, I understand the caution, and hit next. And make sure that you have uh, your Android phone on, your desire on and connected to your uh, PC. Disable standby and hibernation modes on your PC and make sure battery power is more than 30%. Once you have checked, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my phone right now. As you can see, just like, just like that. Just plug it on in. And just hit charge only, that's fine. Hit done. And once that's done, it says I have completed steps above. Check that and then hit next. It's going to actually start the uh, process putting it back to stock. Uh, I didn't really show you guys. I actually have super user in my app drawer right there. Super user permissions. I'm rooted and I do have clockwork mod as well. Uh, just to let you guys know, I'm not on stock. Sorry about that. But anyways, uh, it says verifying information on your Android phone. Please wait. Phone isn't doing anything yet. And it says error, USB connection error. Um, if it does that, just go ahead and hit exit to quit. Sorry about that, guys. And then right click on this and then run as administrator again. And just start it on over. It'll work. Uh, if you do it, I mean the second time it should work. If it doesn't, go ahead and install the drivers again, which you can get from HTC website. Install HTC Sync. Um, I guess I'll post a link to that in the description as well, in case you guys need it, if you don't have it installed as well. And if you do have HTC Sync installed, try a different cable, try a different port on your uh, on your computer as well. So as you can see, my phone's still plugged in. I'm going to unplug it and just plug it right back in just to refresh the connection with the computer. So I plugged it right back in. Um, I'm gonna check, obviously I understand caution, hit next, and I've completed steps above, hit next. And now it's gonna verify information on my phone. Once it verifies, it should, uh, I believe, go to an HTC screen on my phone. Uh, the screen went away, and it says current information, that's my image version right there, and uh, update current ROM version, so hit update. And it goes away for a little while, and then it should pop back up and then start updating. Um, as you can see, my image version is 2.11.573.5, and it's going to put it back to the same image version, but it's going to put it back to stock. So just a heads up there, hit next. And it says during the following, this will occur, so uh, just hit next again. And now it says checking, updating ROM image. It's going to reboot your phone to an HTC screen, I believe. That's what it does on all the other HTC phones I have. 
unrooted as you can see HCC screen and basically it's just gonna update the ROM image it's gonna put it completely back to stock it does take a little while so definitely be patient with it um, I would say maybe it shouldn't take more than 10 minutes so um, definitely something went wrong be sure your battery doesn't get pulled or the cord doesn't get pulled make sure neither nothing bad happens while this is running because it can break your phone if it uh, fails while it's going but anyway it says erasing user data it'll do a bar I believe a bar should pop up right here on the HTC screen just letting you know progress of the update but it's ascending it's gonna take a little while so just be patient with it all right and now that it has finished it says congratulations your ROM update has been completed your Android phone is now ready for use uh, it also reboots your phone as you can see my phone is uh, rebooting back up and once it boots back up I'll show you guys you are now back to stock should be back to stock Android 2.2 Froyo all right and now that my phone has rebooted as you can see I'm gonna go ahead and unlock my screen um, and as you can see it'll take me to the HTC startup screen actually and select your language hit next and skip I'm gonna skip through all these things just so you don't have to watch me set anything up and there you go once that's done uh, once you're done with that setup screen it's gonna load up the home screen I believe it does take a little bit to load so be patient with this first load up and there you go um, I'm gonna do a check real quick that I am back to stock as you can see everything looks back to stock I'm gonna go to menu settings about phone and then I'm gonna go to software information as you can see I'm up Android 2.2 back to uh, software number 211573.5 which I said we were gonna go back to I'm gonna go into my app drawer show you guys super user isn't there uh, back uh, all the uh, stock apps are back on there as you can see no super user in my app drawer at all so now your HTC Desire is now back to stock. Uh, you're good to go. You can return your phone, whatever you want to do now that it's back to stock. Um, if you do have any questions, feel free to ask. Leave a comment, send me a message. I'll be happy to help you out. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at QBKing77. Uh, all links will be in the description of the video. If you uh, would like to subscribe to me as well, feel free uh, for future how-to videos. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you like the video.